The Witcher universe has many different religions followed by dwarves, elves, gnomes, humans, and more. Sometimes those religions merged into one goddess. So this video, I want to talk about the goddess Melitella and her importance to the Witcher series and also the Netflix Witcher TV series. In the Witcher universe, it's important to know that the continent, the landmass on the planet most of the Witcher series takes place on, there's a number of different gods and goddesses. They actually have a pretty diverse pantheon, which we actually used to have before we got <sighs> hella boring. Some people in the Witcher universe follow all the different gods and goddesses, and some choose to just worship a primary god or goddess. Obviously, if you are a priestess or priest in a temple to a specific god or goddess, you usually just worship that deity. But unlike our current world where we see a lot with religion, okay, I believe in this god, this is the true god, all you other gods don't exist, you're false gods, they actually acknowledge and respect all the gods and goddesses. They don't necessarily like them all, so, but they don't deny that they exist. So let's say I follow the goddess Melitella. That doesn't mean that I ignore all the other gods and goddesses over here. I, I acknowledge they exist. I just may not pray to them or worship to them. It also doesn't mean that I won't necessarily hate them. So I can go, okay, all those gods and goddesses are over there. You're fine. You over there? You suck. So there's a lot of gods and goddesses to pick from in this universe. You love to torture people? There's a god for you. Unfortunately. So despite all that and all the different gods and goddesses, this video I actually want to talk about a specific goddess, Melitella, and the cult of Melitella. The cult of Melitella is one of the oldest and most widespread cults, as almost any race has a goddess of harvest and fertility, guardian of farmers and gardeners, patroness of love and marriage. Eventually all those religions merged into the cult of Melitella. Though it is believed this goddess was originally worshipped by the earliest humans to come to the planet during the conjunction of the spears, an event that happened 1500 years before the books, and caused humans and magical creatures to come onto the planet. Those earliest worshippers became extinct, however the goddess lived on because, again, goddess of harvest and fertility is always going to be in business. And the goddess Melitella is actually pretty generic and she has three forms, the young maiden, the older, more mature woman that is pregnant, and the crone. You've probably heard the three aspects of a goddess in our own world. Also, in many fantasy series, it's nothing new. She is worshipped by a lot of women, most women, but also by people that are close to nature, such as foresters and farmers. Now, you can imagine why women worship her. Melitella guards both women that are pregnant and during childbirth, and she protects all women regardless of status in society or who they are exactly, so she's quite popular. In fact, this quote pretty much sums up why the mother goddess Melitella is so important. Great Melitella is, among others, the patron of love, marriage, fertility, nature, and abundance. Her cult came to be through the blending of those beliefs many different races and cultures held about these aspects of life. Melitella's popularity never waned, and the phenomena is explained in various ways. I think the causes are prosaic myself. The cult of Melitella is predominantly a woman cult, and the goddess is, among others, the protector of women and childbirth. A delivering woman has to scream, and apart from the usual yells and empty promises that she will never give herself to another mangy man again, the woman has to call some deity for help, and Melitella fits the bill perfectly. Because women were delivering, deliver, and will be delivering, the goddess Melitella does not have to worry about a lowering of the number of worshippers. And because of this popularity and the bleeding of various races, religions into the goddess Melitella, you'll find large and small temples and sanctuaries of Melitella all throughout the continent. Though the center of her cult is in the temple just outside Lander, headed by the priestess Nenica. In areas where the goddess isn't popular, there are Melitella guards who protect her temples and they serve with their lives and carry shields with the symbol of Melitella on it. While most of the temples are independent, they do occasionally meet up to discuss important issues. The cult of Melitella is also very accepted by other religions. Druids and priestesses of Freya get along with the cult, and the priest of Krev, though the priestesses criticize their followers, they'll usually cooperate with each other when needed. 
Now, if you want to become a priestess of Melatella, you usually start as a novice around the age of 14 or 15, and they take you in and they teach you medicine, botany, biology, math, and a general understanding of the world. And that's just because after you become a priestess, they want you to go out into the world and serve. So you kind of got to know what's going on in the world to do that and not be completely lost and just die. On each birthday, what they call the spring equinox, when the daytime and night are of equal duration, there is a closing ceremony where the novices are admitted into priesthood and they receive new robes and a task. They will usually be given a rural community to take care of or service in one of the temples of Melatella. If they travel the world, as a great deal of them do, they are generally teachers, governesses, or wandering druids specializing as midwives or healers for women and children's specific illnesses. So that is the cult of Melatella. Melatella is very important to Geralt and to Ciri because of Mother Nenica, who I mentioned briefly in this video. And for sure, you are going to see Melatella or a priestess of Melatella in the Netflix The Witcher TV series. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and come back for more Witcher videos.